New Jersey tomato pie is my absolute favourite for film night fakeaway. Cooking the pizza for longer than usual at a lower temperature allows ample time to develop a harder, crispy base. It's perfect for holding in one hand, remote in the other without the risk of flopping. Better still, it's delicious eaten cold too. For the base, you're going to need 360 grams of New York style pizza dough and 100 grams of fine semolina. I use the Uni New York recipe for my dough, which can be found in the description below. For the sauce, you'll need 400 grams of passata, 50 grams of double concentrate tomato paste, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, two teaspoons of caster sugar, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of sea salt. Prepare the sauce at least one hour before you're ready to cook your pizza. For a more intense flavour, make it the day before and leave it in the refrigerator overnight, as this allows plenty of time for the ingredients to diffuse. Now it's time to prepare your toppings. You'll need 225 grams of low moisture mozzarella slices, 50 grams of pecorino cheese, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and eight to 10 pinches of fresh basil leaves. To prepare the pecorino, we're going to be using a food processor rather than a grater. This will give a slightly coarse cut to the cheese which stops it completely melting from the heat of the pizza and produces a stronger flavour as a result. Weigh out the cheese and process for about one minute until you have a nice even mix of finely processed but still coarse cheese. Next, measure out the oregano and red pepper flakes. I'm using Aleppo pepper flakes, which are very mild but you can use hotter chilli flakes if you fancy a bit of heat. Make sure you crush the oregano with your fingers to release its essential oils. To prepare the basil, neatly place the leaves in a pile on top of each other and then roll lengthwise into a tight cigar shape. Use a sharp serrated knife to snip the tip off and then carefully slice the leaves as finely as you can. Place the shredded leaves in a small bowl and separate them with your fingers. Now for the cook. Fire up your Uni pizza oven. I'm using my Uni Coda 16, aiming for a temperature of around 320 to 360 degrees centigrade in the center of the stone. Place a mound of semolina on your work surface and rub plenty into the surface of the bamboo peel. Wooden peels are recommended for this style of pizza as the weight of the dough and toppings can cause the pizza to stick on perforated peels. Lightly tap and brush the excess semolina off. You should be able to feel the coarse grains of the semolina as you rub your hand over the surface of the peel. This will make the pizza very easy to launch. Place your dough ball in the semolina flour on your bench and cover the dough generously all over. Begin to open the dough as you would normally, pushing the air out to the edge and keeping the dough as circular as possible. Turn the dough over and repeat until you have an even base with a crust of about one centimeter thickness. You can see this style of pizza has a much smaller crust than the Neapolitan. Now begin to stretch the dough. Simply place your hands palm down behind the crust and then rotate the dough, allowing the leading hand to move slightly faster than your trailing hand. This will stretch the crust between the hands and increase the size of the pizza. Repeat this motion until the dough is about 13 inches in size, then lift it off the work surface and finish the stretching over your knuckles. I'm using a heavier dough ball to achieve a 14 inch pizza, but you can reduce the weight to 240 grams for a smaller pizza. Slide the dough onto your wooden peel and adjust the shape to fill the peel. Try to avoid any overhanging dough, this will make launching a lot harder. Take your mozzarella cheese slices and place them around the edge of the pizza, slightly overlapping each other, and put the last few in the center. You'll have gaps, but that's fine. Finally, dollop the sauce over the pizza and over the cheese, then level it out with a large metal spoon. It's time to bake. Give your pizza a gentle shake to check it's not sticking, then launch carefully into the oven. Immediately turn the gas flame off completely. Set a timer for 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, use a metal peel or a turning peel to rotate the pizza 180 degrees and set the timer for another 90 seconds. After three minutes, turn the gas flame back onto its lowest setting. The base will have set nicely underneath and the cheese will look melted, but there will be very little browning on the crust. Keep turning the pizza every 10 to 20 seconds and aim to cook for at least three more minutes. A total bake time of six to eight minutes will give the best results. Your pizza will have a gorgeous crispy crust and perfectly cooked toppings. Transfer the pizza to a wooden serving peel and garnish to finish. First sprinkle the oregano and pepper flakes over the pizza, concentrating a little more on the center. Then add your coarse pecorino, shredded basil, and finally a generous drizzle of garlic oil. Slice the pizza into eight, put your feet up, grab a slice, and hit play on your favorite movie. Thanks for watching with me, Julian Guy. Catch me at Pizza Is Lovely. Don't forget to hit subscribe below for more amazing recipes from Uni Pizza Ovens.